Welcome back to The Jazz Pursuit. In this video, we're going to look at five licks from the brilliant pianist Oscar Peterson, all of which are taken from his solo on I'm Old Fashioned. We start by analysing each lick before building it in a different key, making it easier to transpose further in your own practice. If you haven't already, do like and subscribe below to stay up to date with new content and releases. And check out our Patreon page for PDF handouts for all of our videos, plus other extras. Right, let's get started. Our first Oscar Peterson lick perfectly outlines a major 7 chord, and it's full of enclosures. We start on the root of the chord, and then fall down through the tonic triad, from the root to the fifth to the third, ending on the root. We then have a scale note enclosure around the fourth, which is then the starting point of a chromatic enclosure around the third. We then fall to the fifth before having another scale note enclosure, this time around the root, before falling back to the fifth again. We then end the lick with a chromatic enclosure around the third. There's a lot to remember in this lick, so here it is again at full speed. Great, and now let's build it in a different key. How about on E flat major 7? So we start on the root of the chord, and then fall down through the tonic triad, from the root to the fifth to the third, ending on the root. We then have a scale note enclosure around the fourth, which is then the starting point of a chromatic enclosure around the third. We then fall to the fifth before having another scale note enclosure, this time around the root, before falling back to the fifth again. We then end the lick with a chromatic enclosure around the third. Super! Now try this lick on a few more major seven chords. Our second Oscar Peterson lick is on a 2-5-1. We start with a scale note enclosure around the third of the two chord. And then this is the starting point of a chromatic enclosure around the sixth of the five chord. Next, we fall to the fourth before we have a chromatic approach to the root of the five chord from a tone above. We then have a longer enclosure and this is around the root of the one chord. We start a minor third above, then a semitone below, then a tone above, ending on the root of the one chord. We end the lick by falling down through the tonic triad, from the root to the fifth to the third. Great! There was a lot packed into that lick, so here it is again at full speed. Super! And now let's build it in a different key. How about on a 2-5-1 to E-flat major? So we start with a scale note enclosure around the third of the two chord. And then this is the starting point of a chromatic enclosure around the sixth of the five chord. Next, we fall to the fourth before we have a chromatic approach to the root of the five chord from a tone above. We then have a longer enclosure, and this time it's around the root of the one chord. We start a minor third above, then a semitone below, then a tone above, ending on the root of the one chord. We end the lick by falling down through the tonic triad from the root to the fifth to the third. Brilliant! Now try this lick on a few more two five ones. Our third Oscar Peterson lick is on a 5-1 cadence, and it's a great example of outlining the 1 chord over the 5 chord, and letting the bass note drive the cadence. We start with a scale note approach to the 5th of the 1 chord, before we have a semitone approach to the 3rd of the 1 chord. We then continue the chord 1 chord tones theme, and fall from the root to the 5th. Next we have a chromatic enclosure around the third of the one chord, before we have another, longer chromatic enclosure around the root. 
this time from a tone above and a semitone below. We then fall to the fifth to end the lick. Outlining the one chord over the five chord in a five one cadence is definitely an Oscar trick and is a different way to approach cadences. Here's a lick again at full speed. Great, and now let's build it in a different key. How about on a 5-1 cadence to E flat major? So we start with a scale note approach to the fifth of the one chord, before we have a semitone approach to the third of the one chord. We then continue the chord one chord tones theme and fall from the root to the fifth. Next, we have a chromatic enclosure around the third of the one chord, before having another longer chromatic enclosure around the root, this time from a tone above and a semitone below. We then fall to the fifth to end the lick. Super! Now try this lick on a few more 5 1 cadences. Our fourth Oscar Peterson lick is on a 2 5, and it outlines a sharp 11 on the 5 chord. We start on the root of the 2 chord, and then walk up through the Dorian scale to the 5th. We then fall down through the tonic triad of the 2 chord, from the 5th to the 3rd to the root to the 5th, before jumping up to the sharp 11 of the 5 chord. We then jump up to the 9 of the 5 chord, before falling down through an augmented triad built off the 9. This outlines the 9, flat 7, sharp 11 and ends on the 9 again. We then end the lick with a semitone approach to the 3rd of the 5 chord from above. I think this is a really cool little lick and here it is again at full speed. Great, and now let's build it in a different key. How about a 2-5 to B flat major? So our 2 chord is C minor 7 and our 5 chord is F7. So we start on the root of our 2 chord and then walk up through the Dorian scale to the 5th. We then fall down through the tonic triad of the 2 chord from the 5th to the 3rd to the root to the 5th before jumping up to the sharp 11 of the 5 chord. We then jump up to the 9 of the 5 chord before falling down through an augmented triad built off the 9. This outlines the 9, flat 7, sharp 11 and ends on the 9 again. We then end the lick with a semitone approach to the 3rd of the 5 chord from above. Super! Now try this on a few more 2 fives going round the cycle of fourths. Our fifth Oscar Peterson lick is a bluesy riff that's perfect for major 6 and major 7 chords. We start on the minor 3rd and then jump up a tritone to the 6th before falling back to the minor 3rd. We then rock between the root and 2nd before we have a long enclosure around the major 3rd. This is from two scale notes above and a semitone below. What a cool little lick. Now let's hear it again at full speed. Great, and now let's build it in a different key. How about in E flat major? So we start on the minor third and then jump up a tritone to the sixth before falling back to the minor third. We then rock between the root and second before we have a long enclosure around the major third. This is from two scale notes above and a semitone below. Brilliant! Now try this bluesy lick on a few more six chords. So that's all five licks. I pick licks that outline different cadences and chords to give us a broad understanding of Oscar Peterson's language. If you enjoyed the video, do like and subscribe below, and check out our Patreon page for PDF handouts and other extras. Happy practicing!